Hey guys, it's your girl Wandika, originally from Jamaica, and I'm back. Just did a video. I'm so proud of myself. I'm back so soon to show you some more. These are more personal ones that I I will be using this year. <music> All right, so I'm not sure if you have seen it, but if you haven't, you can check out my video about how I show my process, how I make, you know, it look like leather. This used to be a cereal box, but with some paint, Mod Podge, a little bit of glitter, and uh, some napkins, I made it look like um, worn leather. And I really like this. So I'm going to be using this as my day-to-day -day journaling, feelings, that kind of thing. So there isn't much to show other than tea dyed paper. You know, a few pockets here and there. Different size paper. That's what I like about it because, I mean, it doesn't have any other form of interest other than the pages aren't all the same. But... I think I'll just be doing writing and then if I want to stamp one day I can but this is just gonna be like my day-to-day -day musings you know I wanted to do one big big book where I did all of that this one that I showed you I was gonna do journaling I was going to do to do but it's too bulky to carry around this is just this is something that you probably should keep at home and do stuff with I'm gonna either figure out what I want to do with it or I'm gonna list it in one decagale.com and so instead of that big one I'm using um, one of those hardcover um, composition books and I transformed it took out all the pages and just kept the shell because I liked that it could be so compact all right, so I wanted to have something that I could just pop in my bag and it wouldn't be bulky and I wouldn't feel intimidated in using and it so I did it's one signature so I know definitely that I will fill up the month here so I have my calendar I, I put it in this book instead and I got a pack of these in Target for a dollar I think there was about you know 40 of these and I think I will use it in here and also in my lesson plan um, guide for my um, teaching book that I have. Um, so it's really just pockets, pattern paper, tea dyed paper. That's the sequence, right? Where if I don't get to write in there, at least I know there's a pocket I can put. Like the remnants of the day, notes, and stuff like that because I'm famous for not writing in my journals and having to transcribe things from scraps of paper into my books and I'm really excited about this so I know I will be using it I can't wait to start I already printed out some pictures from the start of the year either glue them down or tuck them in I don't know but I'll be keeping track of those kinds of things pictures remnants of the daylight receipts and whatever else and I have a pocket here if there is no more space I'll just put it in here because I'm committed to using just one book per month all right and I think I was going to make these in advance I make all 12 but that's just too much work and I have things I have to do this is I said the year where I have to be buckling down on my dissertation so that's just way too much work and I'm not going to put it in the shop so I can do that when it's nearer to the end of January I'll make a new one for February so this is what I've been doing in the past like I would just use you know folders for April to June and then I had one for July to November and as you know I made that December daily I haven't populated it yet but I did show you inside this so I'm doing things a bit different for 2017 this year I'll just be doing one book would be dedicated to a whole month all right this and one is one that I thought was going to be my daily writing and I was going to pair both to do and journaling in here but then I found myself making this so I think I may put this one in the store 
as well. Um, and I saw these, a pack of this doily in Target for a dollar. It's really a good idea to check out, if you're a crafter, it's a good idea to check that section where they sell stuff for a dollar, three dollars, because you find a lot of things that you may not use it for the intended use, but I found a lot of crafting stuff in that section um, as well. So, I've been doing this, you know, folding over the page and making pockets. So, there are lots and lots of pockets in my journals these days. So, as I showed you guys in the other video. I really really like that I don't know if you're like that if you like a lot of pockets or if you just want straightforward pages I have journals like that which are straightforward pages but I'm beginning to like the idea of you know making pockets and not just like cutting off the page to fit and then you find figuring out what to do with the scrap I still have scraps that I put in the pockets as you've seen but So these are tea dyed. I'm beginning to, I don't know, maybe I've done too many journals with tea dyed paper, but I find myself not wanting to tea dye as much. And so these are a lot of the papers that I've already tea dyed and they've just had a lot left over. But what I'm liking a lot more these days is the double-sided patterned paper so that I don't have to worry about the white on one side I mean I think I'll always tea dye it's just maybe I can take a break now that I have so many um, pages around the place and now I'm using this stamp plus the one Dika Gale art stamp but I didn't do it for this since I was gonna use it I'm still deciding if I should put it in the store or maybe I'll keep this for when this is finished. Cause I so this is all I have to show you for right now. I'm so glad that you guys stuck around and you checked out the video. And please don't forget to leave me a comment so I know you are here. And also thumbs up the video, share it, subscribe if you haven't already. Also, a new thing is that I recently activated the fan funding button. So if you want to support the channel, you know, you want to offer a donation, that's welcome. Just click the button and, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be a monthly thing. It's whenever you feel like it. If you're invested in what I do, that's why it's there. Because not everybody wants a journal. Not everybody wants you know any of the other things that I offer or paintings but they want to show that they are invested and they care about what I do and they want to help my channel grow and I think that's why it's there and so I'm very very grateful if you decide to support this channel that way. Well I'll see you guys next time. What good.